Pixie Doll says, Matt, if a guy didn't take advantage of you, like kissing, etc., does that mean he's not into you? No, no. Most guys, like most, most guys, okay? Let me, let me explain something to you here. Most guys are like, you know, nice guys out there and, and they don't know what they're doing. That's probably what's going on, right? Like if he's going out of his way to see you and he keeps going on dates with you and all that kind of stuff, assume that he likes you. Even if he's not trying to push things forward, even if he's not trying to kiss, even if he's not trying to do any of those things, just assume that he likes you. And if you want him, you know, it, one, it kind of tells you a little bit about what's going on with him. Like you think right now, oh, he's a gentleman, but sooner or later, you're going to start thinking like, is he not a man? <laughs> right. Which is what a lot of women end up thinking, right? If a guy goes too fast, she's like, oh, he just wants sex. And if a guy goes too slow, she's like, oh, he's not really a man. Does he mean, I don't even know what he's doing anymore. You know? If he comes and he meets you, he likes you, right? And and he may just be looking for kind of permission, right, to move things forward, which what it, which is what I was talking about before with the men's dating industry because they're like, oh, look for these signs. If she shows you these signs, that's when you can move forward. And so a guy's always looking for permission to move things forward with you. And so if he's not seeing those signs or if he's not sure what those signs are, if he's really hesitant, if he's kind of confused, if he's like, well, I like her and she keeps going on these dates and maybe eventually it'll turn into something. There could be a lot of things going on there. And if you want to, you know, see if things will go even further, my suggestion is that you go watch that video that I did. It was called something like seven flurry questions to ask a guy or something like that. And just go watch that video. You can go watch the how to turn a guy friend into a boyfriend video. Watch one of those two videos because those two videos talk about the uh, a process that you can use to kind of give him the permission so that he tries to move things forward. I actually talk about that in a few of my videos. There's one video where I talk about why high value men don't have men chasing or high value women don't have guys chasing them or something like that. It's another one of those videos. They're all live streams, all those live streams that I'm on.